Hello. Happy 4th of July. Today we are going to do a little Dutch oven cooking. Um, for our 4th of July cookout we're going to do uh, some baby back ribs in the big Dutch oven and uh, some pinto beans in the smaller one. So this one I'm going to use the 12 inch Dutch oven. Catfish got nice crust. Okay, so uh, this bean recipe, uh, which I am cutting in half because it's just the two of us today, and uh, this one calls for a pound and a half of. Uh, beans, so that's uh, that's quite a bit. So, anyhow, I'm, I'm cutting it in half ish. Um, it is a Pioneer Woman uh, Reed Drummond recipe, uh, perfect pinto beans. I did all my prep work off camera, um, so I've got to put in the beans. I've got beans that I've uh, soaked overnight and rinsed them. Um, it's a little over half a pound of pinto beans. I've got uh, half of a red bell pepper, half of an onion, two cloves of garlic, and some bacon. And we're going to mix that in here with the beans. Okay. No one seasoning I did not bring down. I will put back in there when I put the pot on and go back into the house for some more stuff for the ribs. But uh, it called for bay leaves, and I just didn't bring them down. But uh, we got crushed red. Uh, we got cayenne pepper, paprika, chili powder, and cumin that's going in as our spices. Katie did. Uh, did, did, did where did I put it? Way over here. Water to cover. And uh, like I said, a couple bay leaves. So we're going to take this and put it over on the fire. And I'm going to build that up a little bit just so I can get it to boiling. And then we'll let it simmer the rest of the afternoon. He's been seeping seam out of here, but he's starting to boil. Yeah, see, 
So it's starting to boil in there. So I'm going to raise this up just a few. Notches. Okay, so I've got some lump coals going on over there to for the the big Dutch oven. We're gonna get our ribs started. Here's what I've got. Um, I did take the membrane off already. I just did that inside before I brought the ribs down here. So I've got a nice nice slab of some baby backs. I'm gonna cut them up into maybe little three or four rib sections and then uh, we'll get them seasoned up and put them in the pot Okay, so for our seasoning again, uh, I'm going to like it, and I need to use it up, and then I need to make some more. And I lost it. Oh, there it is. I've got my own little rub. Um, I'm going to have an abundance of it, but we're going to lightly season the bone side. flip them over and heavily season the meaty side. Oh, uh, I know I posted the recipe for this in one of my other videos not too long ago. I think it was the pulled pork video. Um, but I'll, I'll Put it up at the end of this one again too. All right. And inside the oven, I've got a little cake cooling rack, and it fits fairly well inside there. We're gonna lay these inside the oven, meat side up. All right, so here's what we did. We just laid them all inside there as best as we could. And then uh, what we're gonna do, hopefully it's hot. I got some water heating up over there on the fire and we're gonna put a little layer of hot water in on the bottom. And then we're gonna set the oven down on top of uh, hot coals for about an hour, hour and a half and then uh, uh, then transfer the heat from the bottom to the top and let it cook for another hour with just top heat and uh, that should take care of it all right so we're going to put a little bit of the hot water in there i think right there is a good spot so we don't give the ribs a bath Here we go. 
that would probably level up pretty good. thing for an hour or so. I'm uh, trying to get used to using more natural coals than get away from the briquettes. Uh, so we're just playing around today. You got time to do so. So Okay, so the ribs have been on about an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and 25, something like that. So we're gonna we're gonna remove all the bottom coals. Hopefully not as many as I had, but we're gonna just let, let it finish cooking with top coal only.
All right, so let's. Ooh, those look good. Let's see how we're going to do here. I think she'll want this piece. I'll take this piece. Get the bay leaves out of there. And I think that's probably enough for her. There we go. What are you doing, Ruthie? I was trying. <laughs> don't worry. Don't, don't. It's, it's twisted. I got it. I was trying to light some sparklers nope. and the fire was too hot. <laughs> and the flames were down. I thought maybe you had a lighter. Here. Go and light them. I know. I'm looking for a lighter. show you these things before I sit down. I guess it would help if I turn this over so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Reed Drummond's Perfect Pinto Beans and my, uh, my rub and spare ribs in Dutch oven. They need salt. They need salt. Beans are good. Ribs are good. Ooh. 
good for hot. It's just a little hold on the bone, but it pulls away pretty easily. really good. Oh. I want to thank you guys for watching. Wish you all a happy 4th of July. Um, although by the time this airs, it will be well past 4th of July, but know we are thinking of you. And uh, we'll see you next time.